Well, we had Leonard Hayflick, uh, Roger, in that uh, program talking about using that analogy of cars and you know replacing the spare parts and cars, human beings don't work like that. My doctor just recently used the same analogy with me when I complained about my dodgy knee caused by years and years of playing squash. She said, you can't just change the parts like you change a spare part, like you know, the spare parts in a car. But Leonard Hayflick seemed to be saying that not, not even all cars are created equal. That you know, some it's that everything is kind of the luck of the draw. I, I think he was making um, a fairly subtle point there that, um, that, that in, in the case of cars, that, that there's a very good analogy that, um, that they're not all made to exactly the same standard, although of course that's what car manufacturers work on these days, um, getting much more consistency. But, but also there's different wear and tear, so each of us as individuals have got different life histories. Um, so there's a complex interplay between our genetic inheritance um, and what happens to us um, during our lifetime. What, what is the thing that determines that? that? Whether, you know, some people have the longer telomeres, some have the shorter ones. Is there something, you know, that you can point to that says, you know, this is why you've got, got the kind of the lottery ticket and you, you got the bat? It's, it's quite early days, although we're learning quite a lot about that um, right now. So uh, Ray Newsom, the boy, in, the 17-year-old boy in, in the film uh, who had that inherited condition, um, is a very good illustration of what happens if you have not enough of a particular component of telomerase. And uh, there are now um, a total of seven different genes um, uh, for which inherited mutations uh, can result in very short telomeres. So we, we know there are now seven genes that can give you um, a similar sort of syndrome to what uh, Ray uh, exhibited. Um, and that, uh, and only half of those um, cases have been explained genetically so far. So uh, there are lots of other genes yet to be discovered uh, that will have an influence on telomere length. Um, but it'll probably go way beyond that. There'll be many other modifying genes that control telomere length beyond those ones where mutations give you really short telomeres. 